Hey friends out there in YouTube land, Rob here today and we're actually going to be looking at Virginia Beach. It's finally warmed up enough to take some Polaroid pictures and I'd like to share with you five things you need to know about shooting instant film. So uh, before we get into that, let's have a bag dump and check out what we're shooting with today. Come on, follow me down here. All right. Of course, we're going to pick up the Polaroid One Step Plus as well as the Polaroid Go, but we couldn't let that stay, right? We had to do a little bit more. Over here, we're going to be shooting also with the Mini Evo. We've got the OG SX70 for the Polaroid. And of course, since we're doing a lot of square format, we can't forget Mint SF70. This camera right here is pretty awesome and I'm excited about shooting it. So here it is. Our first tip about shooting with Polaroid film is actually to shoot so that we get the nice pretty blue skies. We're going to do that so that the sun is behind us or off to a 90 degree angle. We ever know, ever want to shoot backlit where the sun is behind our subject. This is a great spot right here to go ahead and get a wonderful picture. So I'm going to go ahead and turn my Polaroid on, set it to the infinity, go ahead and tell it that. In this instance, I think I'm just going to let it meter all on its own, frame up a cool shot. And in this case, actually, I think I want a little bit more of what's going on out there. So I'm going to get some of the pier at the Virginia Beach sea line. And uh, yeah, yeah, there's a nice curve right here that I like quite a bit. And some footsteps. One, two, and three. And that was that. Polaroid really needs to make sure that the opacification layer is set up before you take it out of the little frog tongue. So let it sit there for a minute before you do anything with it. Let it set up, otherwise you get light leaks. And you know we couldn't let this shot go without getting one on the Polaroid Go, so let's go ahead and do that now. Let me give you a 360 over there so you can see what we're looking at. Check out that way, this is how we're framing it up. And just like that, we got it right here. Such a small picture, be careful with it. You don't want it to get too much sun on it. Now look at this view. This was obtained just by turning around from where we were sitting a moment ago. Ships and boats come through here all the time. The images that you're seeing in this part of the video come from the Fujifilm Instax Mini Evo. I've been playing around with the light leak feature here in one of the shots and then the normal. A lot of fun. We're actually looking south over Rudy Inlet across the jetty that they've built there. This lady that you see right here was actually really intrigued by what we were doing. And <laughs> this part of the video, she's asking me why I'm taking so many pictures and if she can see some of them. It actually turned out to be a really great interaction. Turns out everybody loves instant film. And if you've ever shot a roll of instant film, you know that. So <laughs> what better way to get her involved is to actually give her a camera and let her take a picture of me. This really helped to put her at ease and get her involved with the process, which was something that led into a lot of conversation. Turns out she's a local artist and she was painting this surfboard right here while she was watching the surfers surf for inspiration. It was a lot of fun. We ended up talking about a lot of things photo related, <laughs> instant photography, and we used all the cameras. The images you're seeing right now actually come from the one on the left, the Instax Mini Evo, and the one on the right, the Mint Instacon SF70. Brand new camera that they just launched. Lots of fun with that camera. Camera, those portraits came out beautiful, specifically on the SF70. She absolutely loved it. I got to keep an image of the one with her with her eyes closed, but I did take two. She was a willing participant, but she was also a little bit shy. Uh, she was worried about having her photo taken, but that was okay. On several of these shots taken using the Instax Mini Evo, I used the blue color profile. Now the blue color profile was great because it allowed me to be able to desaturate the reds and the yellows and really pop the blue. And then I went ahead and up to the reds and yellows back using the light leak. Now this created a really interesting bleach process almost kind of effect. And as you can see right here, it came out really nice. Now I've shown you a couple of the images taken from the same photo printed different times. One of them was cropped and rotated, the one that looks like a portrait, and the landscape ones were the original photo. And you can see them both in black frame as well as the mermaid frame. And I think with this kind of photography, the mermaid frame really pops, it really looks nice. But on black, it looks great too. Whoa, talk about an experience. So we just met someone over there, had fun with Instax film, and of course the Mint SF70. Beautiful portraits with the SF70, just absolutely gorgeous. I'll share them with you. But that shows you that even when you've got uh, instant film, people love instant film. So Donna was pretty shy, you know, she didn't really want to chit chat too much. But the idea of having a portrait and pictures of of the artwork she was doing on her board, she's a local artist here in Virginia Beach, was really exciting to her. And instant photography just opened it up. So, how cool was that? Let's move on to our tip number two now. 
All right, the next tip that we're gonna talk about right now is light. Instant film requires quite a bit of light. Even though it's a highly rated ISO film, means very sensitive at either 640 for Polaroid or 800 for Instax, you still need a lot of light because most of the systems have very small apertures. That means that they only let in a little bit of light to the camera. Even Polaroid's widest apertures on the current production cameras go to f8. Mint's cameras go all the way to f5.6, and that's a big difference. If you're shooting Instax, you're around f12. And generally speaking, even when you're using your Polaroid cameras, it's gonna be an auto mode and it's gonna generally choose F22. So that's something to think about. Let's go ahead and get a portrait of this dolphin right here. There we go. Now we're close to infinity, so we should have the entire frame in the shot. We are about a 40% frame lines and 80% viewer, so there will be a little bit more in the shot than we actually took. In this particular instance, I was shooting at F500, uh, 1 500th of a second and F8. Now I've actually set the camera to F6.7. I like that because it's just a little bit brighter, it helps open up the shadows some, I find that it works well. But when you're outdoors, F8 plus ND8, around 1 500th or 1 250th. These are things you have to figure out on your own when you're out there shooting. You gotta get a feel for which one it is. But if you can do that, F8, ND8, makes it great. I think it's time to move on to the next tip. All right, friends, this next tip comes at you free of charge. And this is kind of like a bonus tip. Careful of where you put your Polaroids. If you put them in your back pocket and sit down, you might bust the development packs and that will ruin your film. So don't do that, friends. All right, next tip. I went out today in order to photograph a tips, five things to know about instant photography. So let me show you something like this. Uh, we start off talking about the Polaroid Mini or the Polaroid Go, and you get a shot that's about this big. Stepping up about halfway, we have the uh, RF70 or the Instax Square. We get a shot that's about that big. And then all the way up, we get a shot that's about this big with the Polaroid uh, regular size format film. This is taken on a Polaroid One Step Plus. When you're working with the Polaroid One Step or now, Plus or Now, those have additional features that let you connect your smartphone to it to get some manual control, but it's just not the same. Let me show you a picture here I took. And while I was out photographing and making that video I talked about, I actually met a person. I met this uh, a local artist. She was working on painting a surfboard and different kinds of acrylics and stuff. And she saw that I was taking photos and making video. She was a little shy, but she was interested in chit-chatting. And look at this shot right here. This is a perfect shot. There's beautiful detail in the background, gorgeous colors in the front. Uh, we can see her face. These are things like that, uh, the, the shadow detail. This comes from using a camera on manual settings that allow us to get the shot that we want with flash and a neutral density filter. Notice how it looks so natural and beautiful. Now, I took several shots of her as we were photographing and working, but she wanted to keep them all, so I kept the one with her eyes closed. But this was all taken with the SF70, Mint's brand new camera. Now, while I was out, of course, I did photograph using uh, the Instax Mini Evo, and that was the camera that she saw me working with that really got her attention. And then she was kind of skittish, so I took her photo and was able to print it off and give it to her, and that's what helped me make the connection. And because that's a digital camera with a hybrid printer built in, so it's a hybrid digital uh, analog camera, we were able to get this second print right here, which I would not have. And this is a beautiful shot. She really liked that. I ended up giving her five or six shots from uh, all of my different cameras that I was using, and it turned out really, really great. And so it was just a nice connection, but you don't get those types of shots and you don't get those types of interactions by just walking around and one and done in it. You know, instant photography is something that people absolutely love. And so when you start making photos and prints like that, people are gonna start asking questions and they're gonna wanna see it. These shots that you're seeing right now are all from uh, the Polaroid or all from the Fujifilm Instax Mini Evo. And I used different lens filters on them while I was taking them. But well, hopefully you can kind of get an idea of the different print sizes between these cameras. And this is a cute little photo from the Polaroid Go, as well as a cute little shot of me. She got a picture of me taking a picture of her with the Polaroid Go as well. Just a really, really excellent, just a really excellent uh, interaction. Here's another one from the SF70. Look at that shot, man. That shot's amazing. I mean, it really is something else. So I just wanted to share with you a little bit about that, let you know that the video's coming up and in production, the whole series on how to use these cameras. And I would have continued to photograph a little bit more, make some more of the video today, but it just came time to come home, get my kids and get ready to head out to a movie. So I hope that you enjoyed seeing all of this. I hope that you like and subscribe. Don't forget to leave a comment down below. 
and uh, tell me what you like about instant photos. I hope you're having a great time. I'll catch you guys on the flip side. Bye for now.